These instructions are designed for use by trained professional only. Untrained persons should never attempt to diagnose, modify, or repair home heating equipment. To perform this operation, you will need the following 10 millimeter metric socket and drive or wrench, two pipe wrenches and or pump pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, water spray bottle, nylon stiff bristle non-metallic brush, one inch plastic putty knife, manometer, a combustion analyzer, and a copy of the installation and operations manual. If the manual is not available with the boiler, you can view the manual online at www.usboiler.net. Before starting this operation, disconnect the power supply to the boiler as well as shut off the gas supply. First, disconnect the air proofing switch tube from the gas valve. Next, remove the flexible gas line from the gas valve. Be sure to use a wrench to back up the gas valve while removing the gas line. Next, unplug the two Molex wiring connectors from the fan assembly. Unplug the wiring harness on the gas valve. Unplug the ignition, ground, and flame rod wires from the igniter and flame rod. If applicable, remove the attenuator assembly. Then, remove the four 10 mm nuts from the burner plate. Carefully lift and slide the burner door off the heat exchanger studs and pull it toward the boiler front. Do not damage refractory insulation. Next, vacuum out loose debris in the middle of the heat exchanger. Brush the heat exchanger with non-metal, non-abrasive brush, being careful not to damage the target wall. Using a plastic putty knife, clean between the heat exchanger tubes all the way around the heat exchanger. Vacuum out loose debris, then spray and rinse the heat exchanger with water. It's important to avoid getting the target wall wet during this step. Before reinstalling the cold burner door, inspect the gaskets. After you reinstall the cold burner door and, if applicable, the attenuator assembly, reconnect the gas line air-proofing switch tube, and all electrical connections. Once you turn on the gas supply, check for gas leaks and verify gas pressures are within specification on boiler label. Then, after you turn on the electricity to the boiler, establish a demand for the boiler to heat and perform a combustion test. Check and adjust the boiler combustion to specifications per the instructions in the K2 or K2 Combi Boilers Installation and Operations Manual. For more information on performing a combustion test, check out our video, Combustion Testing on a High Efficiency Condensing Boiler. This instructional video has been provided by U.S. Boiler Company as an educational reference for our installing contractors and boiler service professionals. Be on the lookout for additional instructional videos in this series. Thanks for watching.